Let's go, girls. It's about growing personally and professionally. What's the one thing that really drives you, that really drives your passion? It's about climbing the ladder or opening a new door. Too many people give up too early on their dream. It's about enjoying your professional journey. I enjoy what I do. It's about keeping things real. So the interviewer is an interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. But I knew that there was something else I wanted to do with my life. I knew I wanted to help people. This is Up or Out with Connie Fife. We love your voice. You need to be on radio. And now... <laughs> Your host, Connie Fife. Hello, and this is Connie Fife, your unstoppable diva, and welcome to Up or Out with Connie. I just want to share with everyone that we are on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Sirius XM, the C Suite Network, and over 1,900 analog stations around the globe. And we have exceeded well over 5 million listeners per week. Per week, we were giving you the wrong information. I was thinking it was per month, but it is per week. And I want you to be sure that you're subscribing with us because you don't want to miss any of the good stuff. So make sure you head over to iTunes and subscribe to Up or Out with Connie. So now the question is, if you're looking for expert advice, we have in our private Facebook group, the Up or Out Network, Head on over there, join it, because each day, each day, I am adding a morning brew with a little business boost in there, sharing all sorts of information on how I've been able to grow my business, but also with our guests, they're sharing their information, too, and how they've grown their business, and that's why they're here, to share their secret sauce, their stories, and how they've stuck to moving up in the C-suite, or they've moved out. And they've created this this huge uh, entrepreneurial business that they're leading today. I, I've been so excited with the guests that we are having. It's just been incredible, incredible. So if you want to be on the show, if there's a guest that you would like us to bring on, let us know. Just send us a message to Team Fife at fifegroup.com because we love hearing from you. We love hearing from our listeners and we want to serve you. We want to make sure that we are providing the information that you need to grow your business. So are you ready to be an entrepreneur and you're sitting in your C-suite position and thinking, hmm, when can I get out and do it on my own? Or maybe you just want to continue moving up to be heard in the boardroom. Well, we got it all right here for you on Up or Out with Connie. So let's, uh, let's share our quote for today. Our quote for today is, ever tried, ever failed. No matter, try again, fail again, and fail better. And you, you've seen the stories out there. The greatest, most successful people have failed a hundred times before they were successful once. And that's all it takes. So just keep on trying. Don't ever, ever, ever give up. Well, it's time for a sponsor break. We're going to just take a few right here. We'll be right back because we need to hear from them because hey, they're the ones paying the bills. Hi, this is Connie Five, your unstoppable diva, your host of Up or Out with Connie. I am thrilled to be a headline show on C-Suite Network, where you can grow your brand, grow your tribe, and be unstoppable. We are the hottest podcast for entrepreneurs, C-level executives, and market leaders. And you can hear me each week right here on the C-Suite Network. Also on Conscious Business Network, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, SiriusXM, and over 900 hundred stations around the globe. Be sure to follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Be bold, be connected, and be unstoppable. We're back and you're listening to Up or Out with Connie. So turn up the volume. Stay tuned to the end of the show because you don't want to miss any of the exciting, exciting giveaways that we have for you today. And now our unstoppable guest. So now it is my pleasure to introduce someone that I have gotten to know really well uh, uh, a woman I admire, admire the most, all of the work that she is doing. A radio and TV personality, internationally recognized author, speaker, online strategist, and my good friend, Leah Woodford. Hey, Leah, welcome to the show. Oh, Connie, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Always. 
Uh, and I just, I, I love the work that, that you have to, been doing. I mean, in just a short time and you just said, okay, I'm going to, you know, pull up my bootstraps and we're going to deliver this mega conference for women and you're making it happen. You know, Connie, um, I don't know about you, but I've, I've tried a couple of different things and I'm one of those people that when you say no, I will figure out a way. There's mm -hmm. a lot of sayers in the world and then there's a couple of doers. Mm -hmm. And having been in the nonprofit world for a long time, sitting on committees, you know, there, you got 20 people and there's only one or two people doing those things. And That's I found right. out I'm one of those people. So <laughs> I just, um, when they say no, I figure a workaround. Well, I mean, I think in associations and most organizations, it's the 80-20 rule. You have 20% of the people doing more of the work and, you know, 80% of the people waiting for the other 20% to get it done. So, <laughs> so yeah, so there are very few of those doers. And I mean, and, that, and that's what Abroad is all about. It's about becoming one of those doers because in the last decade, um, I mean, just look at it. I mean, businesses and people are really going more towards doing it themselves, being those entrepreneurs because of the way business is changing. It's changing so fast. It's changing. I know. I, I heard a commercial yesterday, and I at first I, I thought maybe it was one of those hoax, funny mm -hmm. things, because you hear so many of them now, and you don't know what to believe sometimes. But this was a commercial about having an ice cream store and starting this chain, you know, buying into this chain, which is an ice cream store. And then it went on to say, but don't worry, we have robots that serve you ice cream. And, and, and at first I'm thinking, okay, is this a joke? <laughs> it was a serious commercial. And I just thought, well, now, you, now you're taking away jobs from, you know, the summer high school college students that need that extra money. And I'm thinking, a robot serving you ice cream? Like, what? That was that was a big push, the, the benefit that they were saying why you needed to buy into this chain chain business. Well, and I can see I can see both sides of the coin for that um, right now, Connie. Um, I employ a lot of millennials, and I enjoy working with them. However, go to any retail chain, and you're going to experience the worst customer service. I think that we're failing mm. our kids as parents, and they're not they don't have the social skills to actually work in retail the way you and I did when we were kids. I agree with you that. It is bad customer service, and they haven't been taught, and, and that's where we, as the, the previous generations, need to step in and say, well, wait a minute, you know, we really need to teach these kids. And, and I know we're really drifting off to a whole other conversation. I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, so, I mean, maybe we need to teach them or, or teach them that they're, you know, greater values you know, or something, but let's bring that back. Let's talk more about the conference that you're going to be having. Now it's, it's going to be in Vegas, in Las Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be in February, February 22nd and 23rd. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I'm really excited about this is our guest lineup. These are actual entrepreneurs that have created a brand from ground zero. We've got the founders of Barefoot Wines, Michael mm -hmm. and Bonnie, who love them. Uh, we did. We interviewed them, and we have uh, someone we're about to interview, Sean Dudell, who made his first million at the age of 23 in the tattoo business. Wow! And I know, right? I mean, that's really been kind of a, a bottom shelf kind of business and cash, and very backdoorsy. But um, Sean's a great business guy. I read his book. It was so good, I couldn't put it down. I read it, and and he has a book. He has a book, but he's a brilliant businessman. He's gone to Washington. Mm -hmm. He's changed laws to make tattooing and piercing safer, but he also has seven patents. This is a smart guy. Wow. And um, I, I was just fascinated because how do you make millions in the tattoo business? It is a way of people. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know some, some people who have a lot of tattoos, but... <laughs> Well, the, traditionally, they've always been very cyclical. 
Yes. You know, they come mm-hmm. in and they go out and the military guys would have them. Then they would go out. Right. But, but I'm seeing even grandma with tattoos now. <laughs> well, I do. I do have to admit, my although she never got one, my mother, for her seventieth birthday, kept saying, "I'm getting a tattoo. I'm getting a tattoo." And we're like, "Okay, mom." But as far as I know, she never did get one. <laughs> it's it's becoming a lot more mainstream. Mm. But um, one of the things that I, like I said, I read his book. I've gone to um, one of his locations, and they are beautiful. I mean, mm. not at all what you would picture. Very uh, female friendly, very okay. elegant, um, just very upscale. I wow. mean, and he knows he knows his clients. He does he does famous musicians and celebrities. They fly in all over the world to have him and his team you know, do their piercing. Wow. Tattoos. Wow. So Pretty who, else, who else are you having for the conference? Who Well, I am also having Peter Wink and I'm really excited about him. He has been doing marketing for everybody from uh, Kevin Trudeau, which he testified against in court for fraud. Who, um, but he's worked with everybody from Bob Proctor to mm-hmm. some guys, um, Les Brown, all kinds of different people. Um, but he's a marketing genius. Mm, And I'm excited about him. But his new program, Clear the Fear, is, I think, just what people need right now with today's current administration. There's a lot of fear. So I really like his program. Mm, Okay. Okay. Wow. You have a full lineup. We do. I, you know, one of the things that I wanted to do is um, I wanted to put some household names in there. Uh, Like, Barefoot Wines. Who doesn't know Barefoot Wines, you know? Uh, right. And I'm certain that you'll be serving wine. <laughs> yes, we Barefoot will. Wine. Wine. <laughs> um, but I but I like I like the fact that they're mainstream and I, yeah. I love that they're hardcore entrepreneurs. They are, they are, and they teach a lot about sales. They mm-hmm. do, and I think mm-hmm. we all need that. What entrepreneur doesn't need that little, you know, um, we're so busy wearing so many hats. Right forget sometimes that you have to make the sale. <laughs> That's right. I know. Right. Right. You're creating, you're doing this, you're doing that. It's like, okay, well, I need to stop now and make a sale. Right. Um, it, and it's true. It's so true. Trying to find a balance at all. But I mean, but we're all in sales. I mean, every one of us, I mean, no matter what you do, you know, you're, you're in sales. So that, that's great. That's awesome. Now I, I really want to learn more about your TV show because that's even grown um, much greater and you're looking at starting your own network. You know, I was very, very lucky. Um, a developer at um, Roku came to me and said, look, we love your content. We would like to give you the Smart Them Network. And while that's great, I only have so much content. So I'm mm. excited at, and I'm interviewing and looking for shows to be a part of the Smart Them Network. I've got about three that have approached me, but... Um, okay. You know, there's just a lot of rock stars out there, and I would love to be able to give them a platform. That really is what Smart Femme is about, is elevating women and their voices. Okay. So so you're looking for shows geared towards women? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Just so we're clear with our listeners. So if there's somebody out there that is looking to join a network or have your own online television show... And that's something that you can learn more of um, from Leah, and especially with Roku. I mean, that's one of the main the main names today in that media space. You know, it's pretty exciting because they've been around for a little while, but silently, mm-hmm. and now they're they're getting ready to go public. And um, the stats I just saw, they've just surpassed um, Apple TV, and oh, okay. and Google TV. So they're really making a play, and I'm pretty excited about what they're doing. And what they're offering me, yeah, that'd be re- that'd be really nice. So you'll probably be looking at that one for the first quarter of um, um, twenty eighteen. Um, they are actually already building it for me, so we'll probably oh. launch it just before Christmas. Oh, that'd be an awesome time to do it then. Yeah, I think so. I'm. Well, you know, there's always room for you, Connie. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be talking. <laughs> We'll have to be chatting about that. Well, all good stuff going on uh, with Leah Woodford, but we do need to take a really quick break. When we come back, Leah, we're going to be putting you in the hot seats. Oh, good. 
Have you ever wanted to start a podcast of your own, but you just didn't even know where to start? I mean, it, it's so complicated. It can be really complicated. Thank goodness we're here, Strick. Our team can help you do everything. Intro and outro music, that cool guy with a really deep voice to introduce you, show art, show notes, audio production, hosting. We can even send you a microphone if you need one. So if you are looking for a really unique creative marketing piece, turnkeypodcast.com is for you. We will take care of everything for you when it comes to creating a unique piece that you can send out to your market. You need to be the expert in your field. And the best way to do that is through podcasting. We can create an entire podcast season for you that you can send out as a marketing piece to your customers, to your potential customers, and let them know that you are the expert in the field. Call today for your free consultation. Just talk to one of the teammates that we have here at turnkeypodcast.com. Check it out. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. And we're back and you're listening to Upper Out with W-C-O-N-N-I-E. And joining us today is Leah Woodford. And she is the CEO and founder of Smart Fund Media Group, It is a full-service digital marketing and advertising company. SmartFem was created as a result of her many years as a publicist, a columnist, as well as radio and a TV personality. So, Leah, this is our hot seat spot. But before we go there, let people know how they can find you. Maybe they want to start their own show and learn more about your conference. Well, go to Smart Fem Media Group. That's S M A R T F E M Media Group.com. Or check out our online magazine at smartfem.com. And there's lots of different ways to reach out to me. But hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn. I'm, I'm in all those places. Uh, yeah, she's all over. Let me tell you, she's also on the C-Suite Network. She's also about to launch a multi-city tour with her new book, Lead, Share, Empower, which chronicles her struggles creating smart fam. So you don't want to miss uh, more and learn more about Leah Woodford, this awesome, awesome lady. So it is now time to put you in the hot seat. Are you ready? I'm ready. All righty, all righty. So what is your favorite success quote? Gosh, there's so many of them. Um, favorite one, I think, um, I have many, and I put a lot <laughs> on my Facebook page. It, it kind of depends on my mood, but I, I guess um, right now I would have to say get off the fence. Just get off the fence and do it. Okay. And I don't remember who said that. Well, sometimes we all need to be reminded about it. <laughs> um, did you know what you wanted to do right from the very start? seems like you've been in media for a long time. Is that what you always wanted to do? You know, it's interesting. I did always want to do that, but I actually never got to do anything with it till my 40s, to be honest with you. I was a single mom for years and Mm. divorced and um, divorced at 23 with two little boys. And I don't know about, I don't know if you know this or not, but local anchors and local news, they don't pay you anything. So I got into sales because okay. I wanted I wanted my kids to have a great life and not feel less than. Mm-hmm. So I never had the opportunity till I was 41 and then I fell into it. <laughs> mm. We should have another conversation just about single women and what we do to to give give to our kids. Right. I mean, that that's a whole nother conversation in itself, because uh, I, I was there, too. I mean, my son was three months old. My daughter was three. And it was like, OK, we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and I, we did. Well, and we're growing up with our kids. I mean, think yeah. about it. we were both pretty young when we had yeah. our kids. So you're figuring it out. But um, what, what I learned was and I wrote about this in, in my book is we won't take risks for ourselves. But boy, we're fearless when it comes to our kids, right? Oh, absolutely. Definitely, definitely, absolutely. So all business leaders, I mean, you know, they know that they have to start somewhere. And when you do start, and you said you sort of fell into it, but, and I know you talk about the struggles that you've had to start, to start Smart Fem, but what, what, what was one of a failure that really led you on your path to success? I was a dating and relationship columnist out here in Arizona. Okay. And I I wrote four columns. I was on all the TV stations and I'm in cowboy town. 
And I wanted to start a postmodern feminist magazine. They just didn't want anything to do with it. I mean, I've, I've had some great guests and I knew my team was really good as far as television goes, but I just, I couldn't get it off the ground here. So I went to New York and met with Jeffrey Hazlett, our friend from C-Suite Network. And Mm -hmm. um, I had to get out of my own backyard. I just couldn't get it going here. Okay. Now that's really interesting because they always say that you're an expert 60 miles away from where you live. That's true. And so many people say, and I actually have to say that, I mean, I was on the East Coast and I feel, I mean, I was successful on the East Coast, but I always felt that my success could have been greater. And it wasn't until after I left to move out here to Los Angeles where I started getting people from the East Coast calling me and saying, oh, okay, now I want to hire you. (laughs) Oh, okay. okay. Well, then pay me to come back. (laughs) You know, it's interesting. I had had a TV interview with Alice Cooper. Okay. I had met him several years ago and we were talking before our shoot. And I said, well, Alice, I finally took your advice. And he goes, what was that? I said, well, I finally got out of my own backyard. And because he had told me years ago, you can't Uh be a star in your own backyard. That's why I don't do, I don't do many concerts in Phoenix. If they can see me in Safeway, the jig is up. Right, right. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything with it till 2016, but I, I let him know that I finally did <laughs> take his advice. And, and well, that's, that's true because they're seeing you, I, you know, warts and all and whatever, you know, the, the real person in Safeway. And then, you know, if you step out on stage, they're like, oh, I just bought bread and milk with him yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You've become too accessible. <laughs> right, right, right. You're just like one of the neighbors. So what do what do you recall was your aha moment, the moment that you said that I got this? Actually, there were more than one. I I think really when um, I first met with Jeffrey and he told me that I needed to get my numbers up and okay. um, I had just started my personal Twitter following. I had seven, mm-hmm. not smart thumbs, but Leah Woodford's and I had seven Twitter followers. Okay. And then I asked him for an interview and he said, yes. And we never really got it off the ground because he was in like Iowa. Okay. His internet connection was so bad, but I did, you know, take a screenshot and kind of put, posted it on Facebook. He still owes me an interview by the way. Uh, But then we had created a relationship and friends and he let me know that Damon John was going to be coming out here and doing a book tour. And Mm -hmm. And um, suggested that I cover him. So between talking to Jeffrey and Damon Johns, my Twitter following went from seven to twenty-two thousand in two and a half weeks. That's wow! What I knew. <laughs> yeah, I needed to stick with these guys, and that's when I made the decision to hook my cart to his wagon. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay. Actually, this week Kevin O'Leary uh, is coming to town on Friday. He's doing a he's doing a program, and I'm going to be meeting with him prior prior to that, doing a quick interview with him. Awesome. Yes. So we'll we'll, we'll hit that whole that whole group. <laughs> we'll get them all. So I'll make sure that you tweet about it. Oh, I will. I will. Um, I'm going to be starting that probably either this afternoon or as soon as I as soon as I get back to it. Um, so if you knew then what you know now, what were what advice do you have to someone that's really looking to pursue their path to success? Don't take no for an answer. Mm-hmm. You know, if someone, one door closes, you know, that hallway is going to be on fire and you're going to have to go through that burning hallway, but open that next door because that door is going to be so much better than the one that you, that you, you just closed. Ooh. Great, the hallway is scary though. <laughs> yes. Great. Um, great. Really great advice. So Leah, I want to thank you for being here today. And again, one more time, let our listeners know how they can find out more about you. Well, you can go to my personal website, which is leahwoodford.com. And that's L-E-A-W-O-O-D-F-O-R-D.com or go to smartfem.com or go to the C-Suite network and look up SmartFem. There you go. So that's all I have for today. Leah Woodford, TV host of Smart Femme Network and leader in the digital marketing space. 
host of um, Smart Femme on the C-Suite Network, and again, soon to have her own network on Roku. So check her out at leahwoodford.com or smartfemme.com. And you can learn more about Leah, the conference she has coming up, and also her book tour that she'll be going on uh, really quite soon to a city near you. So jump on out there and you can meet with their one-on-one and get her autograph. So our time always, always goes by so quickly together. So be sure to subscribe to iTunes because you don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you need expert advice on how to move up or out, be certain to join us on Facebook. Look for our Up or Out Network. Join us and every day you'll receive a copy of Morning Brew with a business boost so you can scale your business. If there's a topic you'd like to hear or a guest that you'd like to uh, hear about as well, send, send me a note to teamfife at fifegroup.com. We love hearing from our listeners. It's been great being here with you today. Ask yourself, if you could do something different to get a different result, what would that be? You're listening to Up Around with Connie, and I'm Connie Fife. Until we meet again, be bold, be connected, be unstoppable together. <laughs>